I've known Bill Taylor for about three decades. I met him in the early 90s. I was involved in Russia economic reform issues, and he was too. Really experienced guy, articulate, knows the policy. And I was part of the Obama team that when we came in and we said, OK, there's this guy, Taylor. Should we keep him for a while or not? And we decided we should keep him. I've known him for a long time. I couldn't have told you if he's a Democrat or Republican. I honestly, to this day, don't know. So like, just talk about like the big picture of what we now know happened here and how kind of jaw-droppingly unusual it is. The bottom line is this. The President of the United States tried to leverage an Oval Office visit and the withholding of military assistance with Ukraine in return for two things. Investigate Hunter Biden, my political opponent's son, and then two, even more extraordinary and crazy, uh, look into Ukrainian involvement in the interference in 2016. That's the essence of corruption, when you use your public office for private gain. And is it extraordinary? Of course it's extraordinary. Bill Taylor and these other public servants, put yourself in their place. The administration has made it very clear in a very public way that they do not want you to comply right. with these subpoenas or to go to Capitol Hill. What's the calculus that's going on in their head that makes them decide, I'm going to do this anyway? Well, the first thing I want to say is how hard it is. It is a radical event to go out of bounds and to, to, to say, I'm going to disobey a letter from the White House. I just think they, they just look at it, and enough is enough. And they're thinking about you know the long uh, arc of history and where they're going to be remembered. Am I going to be somebody that stood up or not? We're headed towards some kind of a reckoning. If it ends up being the case that Taylor ends up being really the key witness in some respects. Is that guy a hero? More than any other person, I think he connected all the dots. He took notes. He took the copious notes to make sure we have that, that record. And that will be not the deep state standing up, but an American patriot standing up for the rule of law and, and regular order. And in my eyes, he's already a hero.